Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of How To Minecraft on the How To Minecraft server. So last episode was uh, crazy nonetheless, it was absolutely madness. And uh, yeah, we got some very interesting days ahead of us on the server. I It's Matt's move now, that's the thing, it's Matt's move what's gonna happen next. I don't know what he's doing because raiding is out of the option, both of us both already had all of our stuff jacked and hidden. So that's kind of like, you know, we don't really know what to do in that sense. At least, I don't know what he's going to do next. So I would assume the next thing that's coming our way is going to be a boatload of PvP. And I don't know what else is going to come. But today's going to be a preparation episode, nonetheless. Now, I'm going to start off by saying that I reorganized my ender chest to actually keep everything that's relatively valuable to me in here. We have our... Um, we have our diamond helmets right here, we got our chest plates, you know, the v-neck and all that. We got our boots, we got our diamonds, we got uh, our looting sword that we've had from a while ago. We have our bows, we have uh, the broadsword of vitality, we got Matt's good old anti-troll that I still don't know what I'm going to do with, but I'm just keeping this safe for right now. We have these uh, old pieces of uh, iron gear that I used to use. Actually, I never did use this one. And my Skype's going off. My, hey, there's my Skype going off, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, this actually should not be in here. I don't even know why I have these. Jump 2, Shield 3, Dodge 1, Cyborg 3. Eh, not really needed for anything. <laughs> I'll just cast that into the fire. So we've got an empty inventory space. And then we have these axes here. We have our good old pizza cutter and a couple others. Now, I was doing some thinking off camera. Doing some things off camera. And uh, I was looking at this axe right here. Now, the reason this is axe is sharpness 4 is because... I wanted to keep the fire aspect on this axe. The problem is, though, is that if we have demonic, we have fire resistance. So there's actually no use in keeping this sharp four. Because this is our PvP axe that we use until we swap over to the pizza cutter, which has the lifesteal, for when we get down to our hearts. The only problem is, though, is that if we were to knock off the sharpness and fire with this axe right here, we'd also be losing the smite six and the crushing five, which kind of really sucks... It's kind of real a big bummer, but I have something to actually contradict that. We have 84 levels right now, so we are going to spend like a madman right now. So what we're actually going to do is we are going to go and repair this. I believe I actually need to uh, slash fix this before I do anything. So we're going to go over to here, and we're going to repair this axe. And what this is going to do, this is a move that I can't take back as soon as I do it, but I'm pretty sure that I'm going to. We're going to go ahead and repair this, actually... Did I need to... No, no, no. Okay, I didn't. Repairing this is basically going to take off Sharp, Smite, Unbreaking, and Fire Aspect. Kind of sucks, but, you know, it must be done. So, we're going to go ahead and repair this. That folder... I... Why did I fix... <laughs> Why did I fix... This? I I got confused. I thought this was salvaged for some reason. Alright. Where are some things I can kill? Sheep, you've been chilling on my balcony for far too long. You are a dead man now. Is this axe actually damaged? Yes, it is. We're going to go to Warp Pete now. And I can't do that while in combat. And there's more explosions going on that I actually don't even know about. Alright. And by the way, before we go any further, I want to say thank you guys for the majority of you for being very good sports about this whole entire situation. I know on Matt's end he got a little bit of flack, but uh, there seems to be... There's a lot less salt that I anticipate, which is awesome. Because this is probably going to persist for a while, so get used to it. <laughs> to get, get comfortable in your seat and grab some popcorn. But anyways, um, so we have the Sharp 4... We're going to go ahead and repair this, and this right there just took off everything except for the Crushing 5, Lifesteal 2, and Nightmares 5. So it looks like a really bad axe right now, but it's actually quite good. So what we need to go ahead and do with this now is we're going to go and take another axe that we have over here. Well, actually, we're going to be heading out of this area momentarily, so we need to make sure that we're actually done with this before we move out. So this is the axe that we're going to be, what is it? Where is it? Right here. This is the axe that we're going to be morphing onto this. I don't think the Sharp 6 will actually move over onto the axe, but it's worth a shot. And if not, it's not a big loss. This axe actually isn't all that great. Uh, and then we have this axe right here with the Crushing 5 and the Sharp 2. Now, that axe used to be our mob killing axe as well. Remember, that's what we use in dungeons. We're going to be using this axe combined with this one four dungeons so we can get the smite five as well as the crushing five on here so what we're actually going to do is we're going to do the same thing that we just did over there we have diamonds on us still thankfully uh where are some mobs that i could possibly demolish oh there's a zombie over there we'll go ahead and pay him a good view this is the right axe right this is the crushing yeah okay perfect so we're going to go ahead and chop this guy up is that actually damaged yes it is warp pete 
Can't do that while in combat. <laughs> this guy take a little bit of time. All right, Warp Pete, there we go. And we're going to repair this down to its core. So with this, we're going to go ahead and get Crushing 5, Headless 3, and Block 3. This would be a good sword, to, or a good axe, if the Headless could have been morphed onto here. But unfortunately, you can't combine custom enchants. So we have that done now. So I think now, what we're going to go ahead and do is warp over to... Uh, spawn and if we warp over to spawn we'll be pretty close to where i have my pvp area or the little uh, pvp challenge thing which nobody i'm gonna check again i don't think anyone's used this since the one time that vic did which kind of bums me out a little bit i don't know i feel like people will be more down to use this sort of thing has anyone used it no not a single soul has used this thing since we started and i just broke a sign uh what did this even say uh place bet here i assume this is what the note said i'm gonna just kindly assume uh okay place bet here all right so let's go ahead and combine these up using this anvil that's nearly broken <laughs> i need to get a new one so badly so we take the crushing five lifesteal two and nightmares five and combine it with the uh what you call the sharpness six for seven levels we'll be able to get no 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 that's not what we want to do oh no 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 that wait is that what we want to do wait is this what we're, what we're doing? It's my five, and then that my five goes. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So then this axe now has sharp five, crushing five, and light nightmares five. Now nightmare is a huge meta when it comes to um, uh, PvP now because there's no such thing as blindness. So nightmares is almost essential if you want to pull some clutch plays. So we're gonna go ahead and fill that up right there. That's a good looking axe right there. I wish it was life steal five because then I'd have no use for the pizza cutter. But I guess that's what makes it special. And uh, we have this axe right here, and we pop the Smite 5 on there. L Legend. <laughs> I kind of like that, the L Legendary Axe. Why is it like that? Oh, that is weird. Oh, I guess because it was the EL. That's, uh, that's funny. So on here now, we'll have Smite 5, Unbreaking 3, Crushing 5, Headless 3, and Block 3. The Block 3 is not going to do us, you know, any good for whatever. So that's 17 levels down right there. And this is going to be our new Dungeon Axe. This is going to remain our PvP axe that we'll use for that. Because we all, we used to use this for PvP anyway. So, with that done, let's go ahead and try and fight some dungeons. Now, recently in the server, there have been a lot of people tackling dungeons. So, I don't know whether or not we're actually... Ooh. Free gold. <laughs> uh, I don't know whether or not this dungeon's actually going to be open for business. If it is, then that's perfect. If not, then there's three supercharged creepers. Okay, let's go and get all the heads. <laughs> that's funny. That is the best. All right, let's go around here. These guys, we still have our Voidwalker 3 on. I believe we have Voidwalker 3. Is it level 3 that we have on? No, we only have the Voidwalker 1 still, which I think just work, works just as fine. Although I think... Wait, hold on. This is not the level. Okay, is this dungeon, has this dungeon been taken care of? Because if it has, I have a fear that we might not be able to continue this recording today. And I might have to record this tomorrow until the dungeons have restocked. Yep, okay, so this dungeon has been knocked out, which kind of sucks. I have an idea of one dungeon that we can go to immediately that more than likely has not been knocked out. So let me go ahead and pull up the uh, mind map real fast. And let's just take a gander here. So I actually had to come back uh, a completely different day to re-record the other half of this episode, or the other full portion of the episode, I guess you can say. So it is the next day, uh, so things might be different, might not be. I don't really know how much I changed my attitude and all that in the next day. I know today is a much better day, because uh, I woke up very early and things were awesome. So uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and warp over to the wall, just to see if any of these dungeons that were done yesterday have been restocked today. I would assume a couple of them are. I don't know how strong oh god jesus we are getting some mad lag on this whole thing let me actually hold on i think i can help with that just a little bit there we're getting a little bit of some frame rate drops now i usually i need to restart my computer about once a week uh otherwise when i render videos because i'm rendering a crazy crap right now uh usually when i render videos and stuff like that uh things get kind of bad and a little choppy but right now we can actually see that this dungeon has been restocked which is awesome before we go into combat let's go ahead and get the rest of our uh absorption hearts we tried to get um that guy tried to damage us right there we actually were not greeted by any mobs to start this off so hopefully we'll get rather lucky hopefully okay and we already start with the void walker all right well that is just awesome and we got some skeletons around here as well as soon as this void walker wears off we're gonna jump down and it seems to have worn off do we have okay so the boss is in 
relatively low armor. Oh, I got... Oh, God. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, we can still hit these guys. We can't hit the main boss, though, so we're going to back up a little bit. Yeah, we're going to back up. 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 I should have some golden apples on me. Let me see. Do I have some golden apples? I normally don't use these, but I just feel like using them today. All right. We got any lightning creepers or anything around here? We do not, thankfully enough. I don't think lightning creepers spawn on this platform. I think it's only the uh, first and second um, stories that those guys spawn. All right, let's try and get this guy pinned down a little bit. He's trying to use his wither powers on me. As long as we can get backed into here, I don't think there's any more mobs except for this guy. Okay, all the other ones have been destroyed. Speaking of destruction, we got the destroyer right here. I'm really hoping we can... The, the thing is, I honestly don't know whether or not I want better... I think I want better armor than a better axe, honestly. Um, the only reason I say spot here is because I can't actually touch him, so I don't really know why I wouldn't. Um, I kind of want, like, some Prot 5 gear that has some good stuff on it, because it's kind of interesting. I don't know if there was something in the code that made it so Prot 5 gear can't have, like, accessories on it. Because I've seen a bunch of Prot 5 gear go around on the server and stuff. But every single piece that I've seen, not a se not a different piece has, like, block or dodge or anything like that. Maybe this will change, because Pro 5 gear would be just, oh, top. Prioritize that. All right. Three, two, and one. Oh, fit. All right, this takes the cake for the worst Hellfire Dungeon loot we've ever gotten in our lives. At least in terms of the gear that was used. Maybe else is going to be godlike gear. It damn well better be for our first dungeon of the day. The bow to start off. Power 6 Poison 4 actually isn't that bad. Matt had one of those bows. It was like, um, poison? I, I don't remember. No, 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 no. This is, whoa, this is actually really good. Whoa. That's actually a really good bow. First sword of the day is crap. Second sword of the day is crap. And the third sword of the day, if that was <laughs> If that was Sharp 6, that actually would have given us a run for our money right there. Imagine if that was... Oh, imagine if that was Sharp 6. Alright, well that was one dungeon done for the day. We still have the mine map up here. So let's go ahead and head over to... I want to see if uh, Warp Northern Dwarven Halls has been fixed. Because this... Northern... Oh, we got to, forgot the R. Alright, Northern Dwarven Halls. Uh, I want to see if this place has been fixed, because the last time we went here, uh, there was a glitched boss. I don't know if I'll keep that in the actual footage, but the boss was glitched to where he was completely invulnerable, and we can't attack him no matter what. So, uh, let's just run through here. That guy has some swag boots still. He was like that the last time we came in here. Alright, let's see if we're able to get this guy fixed. If not, what I think we might do is try and lure him away from the chest, the dungeon chest. See if we can get any good loot from there. Because I have a feeling the best loot is hidden behind a glitch. You know what I mean? Like, if the loot's... If the guy's glitched, he must be... You know, there must be some good loot. And it seems to have reset, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and take a dive in here. And, uh... Get our destruction on. We're gonna use our skull splitter, honestly, because there's so many of these guys in an area. Don't really want to be safe spotting, and then and that's what happens when you don't safe spot. I did clear up that little area right down there, so thankfully no more uh, boss glitches or anything of that nature. All right, creeper, just honestly taking those guys out like mad. We got this guy though. This guy has so much speed; it's unreal. And he's actually dealing us a fair amount of damage right now. We got our block and dodge working for us in our favor. We need to get this guy dead ASAP right now. Oh, we can't save spot in this area, which is okay. Oh, God, we gotta run. We can't run, though. We can't run. Oh, we gotta... Okay. We got some sort of protection while he's in his final form. What's our armor doing? Our armor is doing good. Everything except the legs. The legs are a little bit weak. That's all right. Let's just go ahead and try and take him out just instantly. Try and hide up here so we get a little bit of a vantage point so he can't hit us. But this guy is so fast! This guy is so freaking fast! Okay. Alright. He might actually kill me at this rate. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. Eat the golden apple! Alright. Awesome. Oh, fudge. Okay. And we're back in this dimension. Alright. No, we need to run. No, we need to run. Don't. Oh, fudge. Thanks. Oh, I hope he didn't break our legs. Should we just slash back and try and get our gear and run? I think we can. I think we're gonna do that. Run! Just run like madmen! Run like a madman! Okay, these guys are probably gonna one-shot us or something. Oh, I don't wanna put on my armor because it'll break. Okay. Oh god, no! Oh! 
Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Okay. We need to go back. Whew. Bad things have happened. Bad things have happened. Bad things have happened. That guy hit our chest plate when he was low, but he wasn't the main guy, so I don't think he did that much damage. We're going to warp back to Pete, and we're going to grab our gear. That's in our ender chest right now. We're just going to go back through the beginning of the... Okay, we don't want to lose our gear. What do we got? We got our unbreaking. Where is our... There's our V-neck right there. We got our block 5 boots. We got this, and we have... Or actually, these are the block 5 boots that we need. Actually, let's go with the unbreaking 4 for right now. And then we also have the shield helmet. We have all of this right here. The problem is we don't have cyborg. Oh, if our cyborg chest plate broke... Oh, if our cyborg chest plate broke. Oh, if it broke. Do we take our pizza cutter? Or do we take our... Uh, I don't want to take our pizza cutter. Our pizza cutter is... Lit. Actually, let's take the broadsword of vitality. Let's take the broadsword of vitality. This thing's actually really good. It's just not the best for PvP, but it's still up there for sure. We need to take some sort of helmet. Like, what am I doing? Am I mad? We have our shield. We got our... Dodge 5, block 5, thorns and jump, shield and demonic 1 with dodge. Let's just take our other shield helmet then. What is this? Oh, it's only prot 2. Nah, let's take our mystical helmet with dodge 4. Alright, warp, uh, northern dwarven halls. Let's go in and get this guy here. We don't have any golden apples on us, which is unfortunate. But I think we should be able to get our gear. If that guy does, if our chest plate is not there, I'm going to QQ so hard. Thankfully, it won't be the worst thing in the world, though. Because it wasn't the best chest plate. It was still a good one, though. Oh, man. I should not have popped that on. I, I thought I was in the clear. I was a fool. Does he still have our chest plate? Oh, he might. We might have to kill him for... Oh, he still has our chest plate. I have to kill him for... I have to kill... Oh, okay. Wait. Where's our chest piece? No! No! No, the creeper! No, the creeper! Oh, God. Oh god, run away from the creeper. Okay, hold up. We gotta kill the creeper. Where's the creeper? Where's the creeps? Okay, fudge sakes. Alright. Take our time. If these guys will stop respawning for just a few seconds. This is not gonna be easy to get our stuff back. It's not gonna be easy to get our stuff back at all. What do we have? We got this thing so we can use this now. Is that our chest piece? Give it to me! Why is it not letting me pick it up? Oh no. No creeps! Come on. <gasps> did, we, did we pick it up? Yes, we got our we got our cyborg. We just get our legs. Yes. We got the legs. Okay. We're all right. We got our stuff that I was worried about. Now, we don't have everything yet. Let's take a skeleton skull. Sure, why not? Cash in the money note. We're going to slash fix this. We're going to slash fix this. Okay, we're going to go up here and we're going to kill these guys off real fast. There we go. We still need to go back down and get the other stuff. That was only a start. Let's get the swords and things. Oh, I don't think those are actually worth any anything much. What do we have? Okay. Oh, we have a music disc. Cool. Uh, Strad? I think we already had that, though. Alright, let's go back down and try and get our other stuff. We still don't have... Let's put on our cyborg chest plate. Oh, God. Do we put on our cyborg chest piece? Yes, we definitely should. Alright, we're going to lose our shield, though. Oh, we don't have shield. Oh, no. Okay, we can't put our cyborg on because we need our shield. There we go. Okay, we need shield for this. We don't have jump boost. Yeah, we don't have jump boost. Okay. Okay, hold on. I gotta kill these guys first. Then we're gonna go, and we're gonna get the items that were on the floor right there. And then I think we'll be good to tackle the boss from here on out. We're running with our V-neck, which is our item I really only like using for PvP. Okay, hold on. One, two, three, four, and five. Awesome. Awesome. Sick. Alright, uh, now here's the deal. Fix that. And fix these. Let's go in and get this guy. Come on. Come on, little dude. You ain't little. You ain't little, that's for sure. Come on. Come on, Apocalypto. Oh god. Oh god, Jesus. Okay. He does a lot of damage. Okay. Oh, we're safe spot. Oh, I just realized we kind of safe spotted that. Fudge it, I don't care. We died. <laughs> This dungeon rules us. Alright. Let's see what we can get out of here. Hopefully something good for our sorrows. Thankfully we got everything though, so we're alright. Okay. Three, two, and one. 
marginally better. Maybe some better legs. The bow is flame 2 and infinity 2. Absolute crap. The helmet... <sighs> Prot 5! Nah, okay. Nothing good. Alright. So those are two dungeons done. We have a little bit more room since we haven't done a dungeon in a while, though. Let's go back to the... Is it daytime out right now? We'll have to find out. Let's go back to the graveyard dungeon. TPPOS. What position are we going to go to right now? 1446... 65 and 7, uh, 6, 7, right there. Is it daytime? It is daytime. Oh, we don't have our actual, like, proper gear on right now. Let's go ahead and switch up to that real fast. We don't have our dungeon rating gear on. We got our other backup gear. Well, not backup gear. This is b much better gear, but all right. Let's put on the boots that will give us our absorption. Let's put on the cyborg, and let's put on the, uh, demonic there we go, and pop the cyborg back on that way, and then these are, no, 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 we want the block 5 with Voidwalker, there we go, and then we have this, perfect, alright, we have everything that we need, we got cyborg and stuff, has this dungeon be, been reset, I think we went to this one last time and it hadn't been done, so has it been done this time, it has not been, alright, awesome, so we get we got some pretty good luck right here, Doombringer is wearing, okay, he's a zombie, so he's actually gonna be easier, Zombie bosses, I've pretty much confirmed, are much easier to deal with than skeletons, because skeletons are a lot faster. Fudge Voidwalker, man. I think we pretty much confirmed, though, that Voidwalker is better with level 3. So we might want to adapt to a Voidwalker 3 chest piece, um, or Voidwalker 3 chest plate, sometime else. I think I still have that, or did that get... Ooh. Was it the Voidwalker 3 chest plate that got stolen? I think we might have actually lost that piece. I can't recall, to be honest with you. I think I still have it, though. All right, let's keep killing this guy. Honestly, this guy's not much of a challenge, considering he's not a skeleton. Skeleton bosses are the absolute worst out of everything. Is this guy trying to aggro over to the left? Last time I recall... No, okay, so he is still trying to kill us. Last time we were here, we had a zombie boss that just kept trying to run out of the dungeon. It was like, bruh, I'm right here trying to kill you, and you're just off having a little dandy scroll. This guy, and we're back in here. Alright, that's cool. Can we go ahead and, uh, we might actually want to salvage some of this gear that we're getting right here. Um, for some diamonds, because any diamonds will be valuable at this point, since we're out of them. But, I mean, it's okay. We only we have a few diamonds left still, but, I mean, we've used the diamonds for what they needed to. Sold them for some money. And used them for some gear. So, that was definitely worth it. That guy took a little bit of some damage right there. Not enough hearts to send me into the Voidwalker dimension, though. Two hearts. And how much are we going to get left? Oh, he's going invisible. He's going invisible. We got to be careful. Just dodge him. Just dodge him. All right. As long as he gets out of there, we'll be fine. There we go. All right. One heart. You're dead, baby. Give me that soul. Nope. <laughs> he wants us to hang around for just a little while longer. Alright, what you got looking for us, guy? What you got? Doombringer? Freaking screaming, man. Alright, and he is dead. Perfect. Hopefully, let's get something good. It's been a while. Let's get something good out of this chest, shall we? Alright, here we go. Three, two, and one. Oh, the sword. Okay, well, I guess we're not really looking for, uh, weaponry. We already have good weapons. We're just looking for gear. Apparently, this is spawning spiders now. Oh, it's turning nighttime. We actually need to get this stuff in the piece. Oh, we actually need to just get this stuff in the piece. No anticipation. We just gotta get it and run. Get it and run. Yeah, it's turning nighttime. We need to get this right now. Okay. No, it's... Oh, God. Okay. Fudge. We actually just... We missed the opportunity to get it. We actually just missed the opportunity because I took it too slow. Fudge this everything. We might actually die doing this as well. All right, we need to leave for right now. Fudge sakes, crap. <sighs> crap. Okay, broadsword of vitality is what we're using for right now since this thing has life steal five. All right, give me that life steal, baby. Give me that life steal. There's the life steal. Wait, is that the life steal? Where's the life steal? There's the life steal. We need to kill all these guys right now and get the gear. As fast as we can. Our gear is going to take a lot of damage doing this. And so is our health. Our everything is going to take a lot of damage doing this. This sword does def definitely does not stand up to the durability form. And these guys are going to respawn pretty much instantly. Okay, yep, we can't do this. We can't raid him. We can't raid this dungeon right now. We have the loot there. The boss has been killed. Let's go and raid one last dungeon before we're done here. Since we have enough um, with our... Episodes that we've allocated, we are able to do four. This episode just sick. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go over to the Stonehenge dungeon, which I believe is 
Let me actually find it real fast. TP position. I'm looking on the minimap. I wish you guys were able to see the map with me. That would make this so much cooler. Otherwise, right now, it's kind of just like a little lame considering I can't show you guys what I'm looking at right now. So it's like, eh, you just have to get my pure commentary in it. Maybe actually what we could... Oh, uh, I was thinking... Mm, nah. I was thinking we could just uh, snipe all the guys, all the skeletons dead, and then be able to go from there. Okay, there's a Stonehenge. So we're going to TP position 1100. 65 and 1567. Or actually, I have to put this to 100 just to make sure. And uh, all right, now we're going down into the Stonehenge dungeon, which has not been done yet either. This right here is our gear gaining episode. We're trying to cope with the fact that we've been raided by getting some new gear. And if anything, if we get crap gear, we just honestly. Okay, is the boss guy? Okay, that's not the boss guy. We just already gone into this mode. All right, dudes, what's going on? Little baby zombie. Baby zombie bosses are the worst. Thankfully, we're not in that situation yet, so we're okay. All right. Is this dungeon going to be absolutely annoying to do? It most definitely is, and I'm definitely going to want to repair this gear before I go. We, we spent so much money doing dungeons, dude. It's insanity. Slash fix this helmet. Slash fix these boots. Everything else I think is going to be fine for right now to do. I just hate the silverfish in this dungeon. I hate this dungeon. But it's a hellfire, and it needs to get done, so we need to do this quickly. And I guess we're kind of waiting out time right now. Oh, this spawns these guys? I didn't actually know this actually spawns any uh, mobs other than silverfish. Hmm, I guess the more you learn. All right, he is a skeleton boss, so he is going to be rather difficult. Thankfully, he doesn't look all that powerful. So we might be able to just kind of obliterate him doing this, although very doubtful that this is actually going to work. I know there's this guy at my feet. Just want to pay attention to the skeleton. Nothing else, and if anything, we need to run. You know what would be awesome? I should bring... Oh, God. Creeper. Explode, creeps. Do it. I won't take any damage. Okay, he's not going to explode. And now I'm going to be able to take damage. All right. Hate these dudes. Breaking up my armor so much. All right. Actually, not all that much. All right. See if we can just... You know what would be awesome is bringing in speed potions for this thing. Considering we have slowness now, if we brought speed potions, I think that would actually be a new meta. Oh, we might die. This, this might be the point where we die. This is going to be the point where we die. Nope, we're in Voidwalker. Thank God. All right, Voidwalker is definitely confirmed to not activate all the time with just level 1. That was a theory I had that is very quickly disproven. All right, that took a little bit of damage there. I think we're okay. All right, you have left combat. Get that absorption. Let's go back in. And run it. You actually can't safe spot with this dungeon, though. That's the best thing. Well, actually, I guess you could. You can tether him. By, like, standing right here, but I don't really like doing that. I feel like too cheaty. Alright, one there. Come on. Break open all these guys. There's so many more silverfish. Oh, I have to kill them all before we do anything else. Skull splitter them all. I don't really feel like it. Alright. Come here, dude. Come here, little dude. Do you have dungeon... Do you have cyborg speed on? Or, uh, whatever that speed is. Okay. You only have one heart and you put me into this dimension. Are you kidding me? Alright, you're gonna play this game with me. He doesn't want to die. That's alright. He's on his last strings. I don't blame him. Alright, you have left combat. Command's enabled. Let's just take him one more hit. You should be dead. In, like, five more hits, maybe, actually. Whoop. And you are done. Alright, Nightcrawler's been eliminated. Let's see what we get out of here. Hopefully something good. We got two more chances to get something good. Two out of four has been bad. The one out of two around here. All right. Let's see what we can get. Three, two, and one. Better. Much better. That looks good just from just by looking at it. That looks good. All right. The first axe. Oh, it's just it's just sharpness six. That's that's bad. It would have been good if I had crushing or something on it. The next one. Ugh. All right. The pair of boots. Is bad and the chest piece. Voidwalker three. There's another pair of Voidwalker. If the other one that we had wasn't actually eliminated, so that's not bad. That's okay, loot. I'm all right with that. That's all right. Now I don't think we've actually. I want to survey the nighttime right now and see whether or not how close is it to daytime. Unfortunately, we can't. Let's see. Actually, hold on. How much does it cost? How much does uh time set cost? $60,000. Do I want to spend that? Not really. Uh, a lot of people were saying last episode to have used lightning. I know. I definitely should have. Uh, do I want to spend... Oh, I kind of... I don't. I don't want to spend $60,000 to use time, honestly. Let's just go ahead and teleport back over to the dimension. Uh, let's TP back over to here. And uh, let's just wait it out, honestly. 
Just wait out the time. Skeletons are still going to spawn for maybe about a minute longer. So, the thing about the Sharpness 6 Axe, that's really good. We could try combining it, but I think for the fact that it's Sharp 6, we're not going to be able to put it on the Crushing. I think that, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to combine these at all. Fire Aspect or anything like that. Man, that's unfortunate. Imagine this sword with Sharp 6. Sharp 6 and Crushing 5 and Nightmares 5, that would be so crazy hype. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and repair up this chest plate. We do not want to throw out that sword. Fudge six, what am I doing? All right, put that right there. Repair these. We have, we really need to keep a track of our money. And let's get those jump boosts back on. Where are the skeletons? Are they still around here? They're most definitely around here. I think we just can't see them. Are they around here? Eh, they're around here, but they'll wind up spawning if we're not careful. Okay. Yep, these guys are probably going to spawn. Actually, what we should probably do is just kind of wait it out for right here. And wait until they actually do spawn. Question is, do I want to keep this nether portal here? I know we still have this nether portal around here. I think I should actually probably remove this nether portal. I think I'm going to do that real fast. Just remove the nether portal just so we can... Because uh, I think this is actually... It might be interrupting with other people's nether portals. Although I'm not sure who, if any, have even relit their portal. So let's go ahead and break this real fast. Give us something to do anyway. Get the obsidian back and maybe just place it back over again. Because I don't think we'll ever need to transport another, uh, what you call it, another nightcrawler or anything back over to the village. Or the uh, arena, rather. Which I do want to continue work on very soon, by the way. But uh, if we do, we can just go ahead and rebuild the portal and it should come back to this. Why is there gravel there? Oh yeah, I use that for building. Alright, let's grab that right there. Question is, are we going to get more than 10 pieces of obsidian this time around? We have 10 obsidian. No, okay, that's exactly what we're going to get. And it is daytime now, so skeletons should not be spawning. At least I would assume not. Let's go ahead and kill off these creepers right here. And uh, let's see what loot we can get inside of this chest. Kind of sucks we weren't able to see it, but hey, maybe it'll generate some good loot and we just, you know. Maybe it'll give us a good little end of the episode. Creeper around here. There we go. And uh, spider to finish it off. Actually, there are still some spiders spawning. Does that mean skeletons are going to spawn too? They shouldn't. No, okay, they're not going to spawn. All right. Let's see what we got out here at our final dungeon of the day. Three, two, and one. Is it because of this pig? Is it seriously because of this pig? It was. Okay. It looks all right. I don't like the swords, though. I definitely do not. Okay. What is with the spiders, man? Why do spiders spawn during daytime? It is daytime right now. There's even a spider jockey. What the fudge? All right, we just need to go in and get it. Let's actually clear up inventory space to be able to use with this. Okay, this spider will honestly not die for right now. Bones, that, that, redstone. Um, everything else to us is kind of valuable. The arrows, torches, all that, not really all that valuable. All right, let's see what we can get out of here. Hopefully something good. We'll start with the swords and go from there. All right, first sword is bad not good second sword is also bad all right the first helmet it's void walker 2 but it's not good the second helmet is bad and the boots pure protection fine <laughs> literally the rng with this du these dungeons are just they're way too bad honestly to get good gear it's like you have to squeeze out such luck you know that's four days worth of stuff right there for not all that great of gear. Now, I want to check out uh, something real fast just to confirm. I'm sure I was going to get some questions about this. I do want to try combining the sharp six onto an axe. I am fairly certain it's not going to work. But we're going to give it a shot anyway just to see. But I think it's going to basically be all for nothing right now. So let's go ahead and go in here. Pardon me. Go ahead and go in here. Open that up. What do we got? Sharp six combined with this. Yep. It degrades it. Even though it has sharpness 4, I'm pretty sure if we were to just put it on a bare bones one like that. Yeah, see, the only thing that it keeps from here is the unbreaking 3. It doesn't keep any of the custom enchants, so no, you cannot combine a sharp 6 onto any other weaponry, which sucks. That is really unfortunate. Now, was there anything else right here? We have the prot 5, so I'm just going to test it again. Prot 5 onto prot 4? No. You can't combine custom enchants with custom enchants. Anything over vanilla value is custom. So that kind of sucks. But anyways, it's going to go ahead and do it for this episode. Other episodes in the future, we're going to have to go ahead and see what Matt does. I think his episode will be coming out today, trying to see what he's doing for the next little line of attack. 
we were just kind of getting a little bit more ready. We got our battle gear. We have this for dungeons, and we have, uh, where is it? this for pvp now which is awesome that's bumped up for sure and we also have the pizza cutter with the lifesteal five when we get low all right that's gonna go ahead and do it i think we're ready for any pvp fights to come our way we got some good gear now oh well, not now but we had some good gear and we changed up our gear a little bit more take care guys thank you all for watching and i'll get you back next time ciao